Well, okay. The first card, Osha Zen card we have is friendliness. Um, there is, you guys are going to be really thinking about what friends, French friendliness means to you. What do friends mean to you? So right now, I think you guys are questioning who your friends are. There is definitely a lack of friends or a questioning of friends, a need for friendship, true friendship, and what it really means to you. So that could very well be what this hiding is. Could very well be that you guys are having a situation um, where maybe you thought somebody was your friend and maybe they backstabbed you in some way or you're realizing maybe they're really not a true friend or questioning it in some way. We have fighting. And this is how you guys are reacting right now, which are, how you're acting this month in, Fe in March. You guys might be feeling really guarded with yourself. Um, so guarded, you're like already ready to, to punch and strike and fight because um, you're, you're guarded. There's something that is creating a feeling within yourself or somebody around you to where you don't even have to barely speak and they're ready to fight, right? So somebody's very guarded here and they're ready to fight. So... You know, this is good and bad, but it's in this situation, it's a little bit too much. So, um, yeah, we need to fight, right? We need to stand up for ourselves and speak up and whatever. But um, if we're too guarded, then we're not allowing space and we're not allowing um, natural space to occur to allow, to allow natural um, harmonious uh, energy. So... This is maybe your tendency this month, uh, Libra, is to you're on edge. Maybe you're a little guarded. You're ready to take action. Maybe it has to do with this friendship. Um, there obviously has been some kind of deceit, lies. Some maybe your friend tried to take something from you or um, did take something from you. Um, and now you're just really on guard um, with the whole situation. The next card we have is clinging to the past. Um, so you guys are feeling... This is you, Libra. You're going to be feeling like that. You're going to be feeling like um, it's hard for you to let go of the past. It's, it, 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 it's, it's a feeling of not wanting the past to end, holding on to it so it doesn't have to end. Um, and that obviously could have to do with the situation where uh, you don't want it to end. You don't want something to end. It's difficult to let it go. We have the trust card as the outcome in reverse. There's a need for you to trust here, Libra. Um, there's a need for trust here. There's a need to take a leap of faith. Some kind of uh, need to take a leap of faith. Um, and when we're too guarded and, you know, on edge, uh, that nothing good could come of that, really. Um, because, again, it's not allowing the natural freedom. And then we're clinging, then, and we're also clinging to the past. It's not freeing up. Uh, the energies in which we need we need it to free free up. So I think some of you guys are are a little bit afraid right now to take a take a chance take a chance on something. Maybe you have to let something go that happened to you in the past, and in order to let it go, you may need to let down your guard because you're not you're too maybe you're too afraid that this past person situation. Um, may repeat in a negative situation or not. I don't know. We'll have to get into this. Let's get into reading, um, Libra. Yeah, we have the Six of Swords, which tells me that most likely you already left uh, uh, behind this situation. You've left it behind. Um, and it's time, so, you know, you're moving beyond it now. You're, you're letting it go. You're moving to new, better things. The Fool is here, and this is your challenge or possible obstacle. So yeah, you're moving on for sure. You've, you're moving to a new area, a new new beginning. You've left this old behind. But the challenge is um, you may be still clinging to the past. Uh, even though you've moved on, Libra, or they have, you guys have moved away. But there's still be a little bit, a little bit of you that's afraid, uh, not afraid, but is not really taking full advantage of what you could be living right now, which would be starting off on your own, trying a brand new beginning, not knowing what's going to come before you, but knowing that you want it something to come before you and taking a risk and chance. Um, and because it's in your challenge position, it's very similar to the trust card in reverse. It's almost like you're afraid to, um, you're afraid of change. You're afraid to try something new. 
because it's scary, right? We don't know always what's exactly going to be in front of us when we take these new journeys. We can't predict it. We just know that uh, we're in a good, you know, usually you're in a good, we're in a good state of mind. This is a good state of mind. It's in a joy. It's a joyous type of feeling and um, you get to move forward. So maybe a challenge for somebody this month. In the recent past, we have the magician. So in the recent past, you might have not been able to have the things in your life needed in order to um, bring forth what you're good at, bring forth what you want in this life, that your skills, your, 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 what you're very good at. You haven't been able to really utilize them in a situation for whatever reason. Maybe that's why you needed to move forward. What's coming in for you right now is the um, four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's being overly guarded. They're saving. This could be somebody saving money, not spending any money at all, saving every penny. Um, so this could be, if it's not money, it could be emotions, which could go very well with this fighting card. Um, if it's emotions, then it is like this fighting card. It's like holding on extremely tight, um, so tight with your emotions and what you value that you're unable to share it. You're unable to be open. Um, and you might be not sharing it. So that if this is you, Libra, you may be this person that doesn't want to share their emotions. They're going to not tell you how they feel or what they're thinking. Um, and they're going to be on edge. So they're not going to be uh, able to really be what, what be that balanced energy. We have the King of Wands. And this is in the position of what it is that you are... Uh, your advice is um, what you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on this King of Wands. This is a general reading, so this could be a male or a female. Um, this is somebody who is very, very uh, driven, focused. Um, they know exactly what it is that they want, and they are very successful at getting it. This person is very attractive, and they usually are business owners, leaders, um, run companies. So... The advice is to focus on this energy or this person. The death card is here in reverse. And this is for um, what you guys are striving for this month. And it looks like you're striving for, it goes really good with clinging to the past. These are actually identical cards. Um, the, dev, the death card in reverse is that is just that. It's, it's not letting go of the past. It's clinging, clinging to it because you don't want it to end or because it's too hard to let it go. Um, and you guys want to let it go. But right now, there's a little bit of a challenge, right? Because there's a little bit of fear here. Or, or um, maybe you're afraid to open up. Maybe you're afraid you're going to get hurt again. Or maybe you're afraid of what could happen. But we can't be afraid. We can't have fear. Fear will stop us from everything. Fear, fear is the worst enemy, I believe. One of the worst enemies uh, on this planet. Fear is just a horrible thing to have. So just remember, fear is um, not real. And it doesn't exist. We only make it exist. What is real is our truth, our divine purpose, our, our, our soul, our passion, our drives for life, and being pure of that. So it's telling you to focus on this king of wands, male or female, and to really focus on exactly what it is that you want. Don't be afraid of saying it. Don't be afraid of taking action towards it. Be this leader. This person is very successful. The next card we have is the Seven of Cups. And this is how um, you guys might be, this is how you're seeing your situation. You're seeing the situation as you really need, you really need to make a good decision or you've made a decision or somebody's made a, made a, a decision. Somebody had a lot of choices. Somebody uh, was a little bit confused in the past, but now through this situation, you're going to be able to make a decision uh, about what it is that you that's going to fulfill you, what it is that you want, and that's going to help you move forward and and take the full take a take a chance. When you make a decision, you're going to be able to do that. And your decision very well could be just leaving behind the past or this person or this situation or whatever it is that that made made you feel guarded. You don't want maybe you're the one you want to leave behind your your way of being, um, which could be you know questioning friendships questioning um relationships and um you know who wants to live like that guarded all the time that's just not that's not healthy so you are going to make a decision the right decision for you and uh or somebody else will be, will be making a decision 
Um, somebody, people in your environment, somebody in your environment. We have somebody looks like they're going to give up. We have the seven of, of wands in reverse. Somebody in your situation, either you in your environment, people, places, or things. Um, somebody's giving up. They've, they don't want to work. They don't want, they don't have a desire anymore to go through challenges, to go through hard challenges and obstacles. Uh, it's like somebody's lost the passion to do that or they've changed their mind and they want to do something else. So somebody's changed their mind or they just don't want to fight anymore. Um, they don't want to go through anymore. So maybe they're just putting down the, the um, passion or the drive or whatever, the conflict. Conflict. They could be putting down the conflict. All right. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And this is in your hopes and fears section. You guys are hoping for a cash out here. You're hoping for some money. Some of you guys are hoping for a family. You're hoping for marriage. You're hoping for a long-term, long-term family and uh, wealth, long-term happiness, and to build wealth together or in a family. And this is really, really what you're um, hoping for. You're hoping for a marriage even. Some of you are hoping for a marriage. Some of you guys are hoping to um, move, to travel, um, to sell some real estate, sell a home so you can travel and start a new journey within your life. The outcome is the five of pentacles in reverse. The five of pentacles in reverse is telling me that something ended in the past or this month. Um, either you lost, maybe you got demoted at work. You got a pay cut at work, demoted at work. Somebody could have lost their job and they are receiving maybe unemployment. Um, somebody could, could have ended, you know, a relationship or could have been rejected in a relationship or friendship, uh, or family situation. Even it could be a family situation, um, where you, you kind of feel like rejected and left out. All right. So let's find out, let's get some clarifying cards for you, Libra. Let's go ahead and clarify. Why is the five of pentacles here in reverse? Nice. Ace of pentacles. So. This is telling me, Libra, that whatever it is that ended for you last month or this month, where it made you feel alone, it made you feel um, left out in the cold, it made you feel rejected, whether it be job, relationship, whatever situation, it's like you're going to be surprised because you will be receiving something that comes in that's going to make you feel less disappointment, less lonely, less of a loss. There is going to be a gift that's going to be coming in for you unexpected. And that's really going to help you feel a lot bet better. Um, it's going to give you like a new, um, you know, it's, it's going to subside some of the, some of the, some of the loss or, or, or loneliness that you you feel. This is an unexpected money offer, an unexpected, unexpected gift high priestess nice so that's what is confirming the seven of cups in reverse so this insight you're going to be getting insight wisdom either whether it be your own libra from intuition listening to your higher self um, being able to have clarity within your mind and being able to have the answers come to you through your higher self your intuition um, it may be coming to you and that's what's giving you the opportunity to know exactly what it is that you want and make a decision. And if it's, if this was not you, uh, making the decision, then so you're going to be, you're going to be seeking advice, um, from somebody that has, you know, higher wisdom, knowledge, um, that can give you some insight and that will help you make, make up your mind about a decision. The world. Nice. It's talking about control, Libra. This um, advice was to um, pay attention to this person and or energy for you to become this energy. Um, if it is you to become this energy, it's saying that the world is here. So a lot of you guys are needing to let go of this, uh, the end. You're, you, you've got to let go of clinging to the past, clinging to the past, being, it's creating you to, to be feel guarded and um, untrustworthy. 
um, and unable to fear, fear, fear of taking a, a, a new risk on a new, on a new love or a new offer or a new job or a new relationship that will really fulfill you. Um, so it's talking about taking control. The world card is all about control. It's about having control in your life and having things go uh, in, in a positive direction because you're, there's some kind of control here, whether it be divine timing and it's just fate right now and it's allowing you to have this control, okay? It's allowing you to have, be this person that knows what he wants, is confident, that gets what he wants, knows what he wants and goes for it. He doesn't question. He doesn't hold on to the past. He doesn't cling to the past because he's too busy focusing on um, what he wants and how to get it. And he's going for it and he's living life, living right now in that moment. Um, it's, it's, it's giving him or her, this could be either way, it's general, the power uh, the, to control. Because the we, control, we can control our future in, in that way, uh, especially when the universe is, is uh, on our side here. So you're going to, you know, pivotal month for making the decision as well.